It's been a long day of exploring Innes National Park. Watched a beautiful sunset, saw some dolphins. feed, had these pork fillets in some of our meat rub and oil, uh, marinating in the fridge for a day or two, a bit of veggies, a little garden salad, simple lettuce, <laughs> some dressing, so it's a pretty simple dinner, but should hit the spot. beautiful spot. big pod of dolphins just swimming straight towards the surface after just over here somewhere. So that would be pretty awesome to be out there right now. I bet he is counting himself very lucky and I am very sad I can't start. Here is Arthur just here somewhere. He did just take off on a wave was pretty bad for him, honestly. I think he's getting a little rusty, but hopefully he can redeem himself. Stopped, topped up the fuel a bit at Marion Bay, and we're now stopped at Berry Bay, just watching the beautiful waves roll through here. Stunning, stunning scenery. These swallows are flying around, having a lovely time. I'm sure Bean's keen to get out again, even though we went for four hours this morning. But we're debating whether we stay here in the car park for the night or carry on to the next place. Driving along to the next spot we're going to go to, wherever that may be, found an old scrap yard, scrap metal yard. So we needed a bucket for our old oil, because we've got to do an oil change on the road. We found ourselves a bucket plastic bucket and then there was a couple of like crab or lobster pot net things so they've got their line off them so we can put that on our crab nets and also got a bit of a mesh so we can make a little bait bag so pretty awesome little score it's stinking hot it's like 30 degrees still and it's like six o'clock at night found a little shower block on wiki camps Old showers, so perfect for a hot day. Turn the tap on, nothing. Nothing in the urinal, nothing in the toilet, nothing. A little pump station over there. Tried turning on the pumps and playing around, but still nothing. Salty inside. 
don't take for granted those beach showers back on the northern beaches in Sydney, or in many other places, as we've found. Mm hmm Because imagine if you were snorkeling. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, a bit it's underneath you or something. You'd, you'd just absolutely have a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. Because you wouldn't. Point Turton. You can see, I would have probably seen beautiful hair. And Arthur has just makeshifted up a buoy and rope for the crab net. And he's going to paddle out way over there somewhere to pop that one in. Watch him paddle. And fingers crossed we have some crab for dinner at some stage. I'm just at the fish descaling washing station doing our washing up, which isn't probably the most hygienic thing, but desperate times. Good luck. It's huge eagle ray just down here. From the other side, it's so big. Boop, boop, boop. It's huge. And off Arthur goes. Looks like a bit of a struggle, to be honest. His determination baffles me. Chucking our juice bottle boy out with it. Boom. Done. Crab nets out, we'll wait and see if we get any in the morning. It's looking promising. Sort of reedy, grassy area. Just drop the net in a little sandy hole in the grass. So, got some old stinky squid in there that from whenever we caught the squid. So, should be pretty prime. Hoping for the best. Lily got nipped by a crab today, so, should be some good luck. Washing up in our fish sheds little camp spot for the night in this end of this car park behind this big tree out of sight out of mind free camping Australia beautiful warm wet breeze just obviously jumped in and then after the last video I just grabbed the hose that Lily was using to clean showered myself off Lily's still all salty and sad, so she might go find the hot showers in the caravan park. So, do a little sneaky, but man, South Australia is delightful. Dinner's about to be on the way. Time to cook up a feast. It's, what, 8.30? You wouldn't believe it, because it's still so light. But, 8.30, time to cook up palmy. Stand by for how successful that is. Palmies are going down. Got a few in the pan, one more over there. It's just two chicken breasts, potatoes, and some carrots. Fire! And a hangry Lily. She's just not angry. We're both hungry. For Cam Cook, we have done very, very well. Look at these ones down here. It looks like a home cooked dinner. Yum. Exciting! Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's time we go check out Crabnet. We moved the car back to where we were last night. It's just out over there, so we get the in. Eyes for us. We're up earlier than nine o'clock, so that's a first. Oh, no, we've done it a couple of times, but we're pretty lazy at the moment. And hopefully there's some crabs about. Let's go. is not as appealing as yesterday. It was crystal clear and nice, so let's get it. Oh, we got something. Pretty small little crab. Not what we're after, but something. <laughs> Not what we're after, but something. A little, a little crab. Come grab the net. 
Pretending it's dead. Well, he's a bit too small to keep. So we'll let this one go. Hopefully better luck next time. Wow, you're cool, dude. Unfortunately, in hindsight, we actually did the wrong thing in releasing this little guy. It's an introduced species that actually may take over and kill all our native Australian crabs. So we shouldn't have put him back, but we had absolutely no idea until afterwards when it was a bit too late, unfortunately. But next time, we know. Adios, homie. Well, no crab for dinner, but better than nothing. We've had our breakfast packed up and are on the road again. Just leaving Point Turton. How do you say that? Nice little campground there. Beautiful spot to, yeah, good showers that we found out. And little boat ramps, you can drop in the boat and go out fishing and whatnot. We were unsuccessful with the crabs, but we'll, we moved, we moved. We'll hopefully next time find something somewhere else. But yeah, on the road again. Peace out, Peace out from us. Keep on cruising. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Much love. We'll see you in the next one.